Let's see, maybe that there, maybe that right there, that could look cool, that there. Oh, hi, everybody, it's me, your boy. Welcome back. Uh, you caught me right in the middle of a project. What am I up to today? Well, it's quite simple. Working on my life's masterpiece, actually finishing it up so I can die. BB Bridgers in Minecraft 1.18.2 Snapshot 22W07A, entirely built by hand. What do you think of it? I do quite say that this is a masterpiece, if you ask me, but I'm asking you. What do you think? However, yes, if you paid close attention to details, Snapshot 22W07A. That's right, I've built this masterpiece in the latest brand new Snapshot that literally just dropped. In today's video, we're going to talk about Snapshot 22W07A, take a look at my masterpiece a little bit more, and you know, things like that. Like and subscribe for more Notification Gang survival episode coming tomorrow. So, I'm no timeline scientist or anything, like, don't get me wrong, I do understand that, like, uh, basically on our timeline, timeline starts over here and then it goes forward, you know, events happen on the timeline and everything, but I think something's gone wrong. We're in some kind of strange timeline, uh, a loop of sorts. I fully believe that we are now fully stuck in the Caves and Cliffs update, like something went wrong at the beginning of the year, and we're gonna be stuck in Caves and Cliffs part two or three forever. Snapshot 22W07A is another 1.18.2 snapshot, the fourth one, and it has some tag stuff. Now this is a technical snapshot, and this time, technically, I definitely do understand what's going on here, so good news. Now, the big change in the snapshot has to do with the biome tags. Biome tags are used to determine which biomes a structure can generate in. So let's say you're working on some kind of custom data pack or something like that, and you want, I don't know, like the desert village to generate inside of the Badlands biome. I believe what you could do is take that tag thing and make it so desert villages will generate inside of the Badlands biome. Or something like that. For another brain exercise perhaps, let's say this flowering oak tree that I have over here is a structure and I want the structure to generate inside of, I don't know, the flower forest biome. That would make sense. Well, with this new tag, I could do that. Basically, to my understanding with this one, you could take a structure and tag it with whatever biomes you want it to actually generate in. And yeah, that's pretty cool. More customized controls for data pack and other type of content creators. That's a great thing. Over on the change log, another way to look at it, check this out, we have a desert temple pyramid thing inside of the mesa biome, it looks pretty nice to me. Now, uh, moving on, so that's the technical change in this week's snapshot, we also have bug fixes. This week we're looking at a total of 9 new bug fixes in the snapshot, more bug fixes are always a great thing, these bug fixes seem to be relatively all over the place here. For starters, we're looking at a bug that has been plaguing the game since last year, Snapshot 21W37A. Uh, it basically has to do with the grass blocks generating under the water. Grass? How does that actually live under the water? That's right, your question. It cannot. There was a bug with it, and it's been fixed. Moving on past that, we have the worst Caves and Cliffs mob by far, spawning in places that it shouldn't be. We have Rooted Dirt doing things that it shouldn't be doing, and Tropical Fish also spawning in places that they shouldn't. So, basically what I'm saying here is bug fixes. Bug fixes all over the place. Now, for 22W07A, that's it. That's another really, really small 1.18.2 snapshot. This really has me wondering, what is actually going on with 1.18.2? Like, obviously the developers are working on something, and that's great. The things that the developers have been working on in 1.18.2 have largely been beneficial things. They give the community a little bit more control. But, why? Like... Like, why? The, there has to be a reason that this is taking place. Uh, meanwhile, uh, presumably, some of the other developers are working on 1.19 things uh, behind the scenes. They keep doing teasers. Maybe news video later this week on that one. But, yeah, 1.18.2. It continues on. We're stuck in a time loop. And I'm honestly a little bit confused about this update. I mean, obviously, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. It's a free update no matter what. And there are nice things inside of the update. Bug fixes, control, like I just said. But... 1.19 uh, betas are also kind of happening on Bedrock Edition, so... Hmm. 1.19? When? That's all I can really say today. While we're talking about things that happened today, we might as well talk about the hot fix that dropped for Bedrock Edition today as well. The fix's official number is 1.18.12, and it comes with a small, tiny handful of fixes. This Bedrock update brings 6 bug fixes total, including fixing a bug that was absolutely busted. There was an XP glitch with uh, moving things in and out of the, the furnace into the hot bar. It gave insane amounts of experience, absurd, and it's gone. Keeping it short and simple for you though, that's all that I have for you today. Keep your eyes out for perhaps a 1.19 news video later this week. We did get a Warden teaser and Deep Dark City teaser that was really, really cool, but we'll see. Uh, so keep your eyes out for that. More survival episodes coming tomorrow. 
leave a like to leave a like a subscribe if you're super cool smart and great and join the notification gang today thank you so much for watching waddlers this has been me your boy i'll see you tomorrow goodbye